everyone, my name is Madison and welcome to today's video and new series called the Classroom Series, where I share videos created specifically for the classroom to walk you through introductory sewing projects, teach you sewing skills, and educate you on valuable information you should know in order to become a skillful sewer. In today's video, we are going to be creating a super easy and very fun introductory apparel sewing project because we are going to be making pajama shorts. Now, pajama shorts and pajama pants are great introductory sewing projects when it comes to apparel of kind of getting the hang of how to read a pattern, how to follow a pattern, sew it, and also make something that you can wear and be very proud of. Now the great thing about introductory sewing projects is you don't always have to go out and buy patterns for them. For this project, we are going to be using a free pattern that I found online. I'm going to link it down below. It's a free pajama pants pattern that we are actually going to adapt into pajama shorts in order to make today's project. Now one important thing to note about this specific pattern is that it's a unisex pattern, which means it's created for both guys and girls, so the sizing is very standard. So when you take your measurements in order to figure out what size you should be making, it might get a little tricky and confusing looking at the size chart. So the best way to go is to simply make the size that you would typically wear. So if you typically wear a medium, I would suggest that you make a medium short. Now some people like their pajama pants to be a little bit more roomy, so if that's you, then I would suggest sizing up on the chart just so you have an extra a bit of room so that you're comfortable in wearing these. So I've already gathered all the supplies I'm going to need for this project, so I'm going to show you exactly what you will need to buy or find in your sewing room in order to make these fun pajama shorts. So let's get started. For this project, you're going to need one and a half to two yards of fabric, depending on the size you're making. You're also going to need one inch wide elastic. You will also need sewing thread to match your fabric or in a complementary color, pins, sewing scissors, you're also going to need to print out your pattern and then assemble it later on. You're also going to need tape in order to put your pattern together. And since we're using paper, we should also have paper scissors. The first step in the process of creating these pajama pants is going to be to assemble your pattern. Since this is a free downloadable pattern, you're going to print it off on normal size printer paper and then you're going to assemble it. And by assemble it, I mean you're going to put it together like a puzzle, tape it together, and then cut out your pattern pieces. Since we have adapted a regular pajama pants pattern into pajama shorts, all I actually did was print it off half the pattern and assemble them together, and this is what it looks like. After everything is assembled, you are going to start taping it together. You want to make sure to pay attention to any of the lines and make sure that they're all matching up, and also pay attention to any other markings that tell you where things are supposed to be connected. You don't have to use a lot of tape, but just make sure to tape it in the places that it's going to be held together the most. Once it's done being taped, then you can actually cut out your pattern. Also, we're not going to use pattern piece 11, so don't even worry about that one. Next, you're going to cut out your pattern pieces. Now, since most patterns are created with multiple sizes, you can cut out around the edges or you can simply cut your specific size. Now that we have all of our pattern pieces cut out, here are what they look like. We have a pocket. We have a front and we also have a back. Now it's time to start cutting out our pattern pieces of our fabric. I already have my fabric pre-washed and dried and it's also ironed so we're ready to cut out our pattern pieces. I chose this fun cat printed fabric so if you choose a print you're also going to want to make sure the directionality of the print is for example this one all of the cat heads are facing in one direction so I want to make sure that the top of the cat heads are at the top of my shorts so that the cats aren't upside down when I'm wearing my shorts so make sure to pay attention to the print on your pattern pieces now for our shorts we need to cut out two pieces for our back two pieces for our front and four pockets since we usually cut out our pattern pieces with our fabric folded in half, selvage to selvage, we're automatically going to cut two pieces. So all we need to do is cut out our short front and back one time to get those two pieces. And then same thing for our pockets, we're just going to cut it out one time, unpin it, and then repin it and cut it again so that we have four pieces. Now you might notice on these pattern pieces that there is a line with an arrow. This is called the grain line and it means that this arrow should run in line with your selvage, which is the finished edge of your fabric, or it also runs in line with the grain of our fabric, which is how it's woven. So you need to pay attention to that line and that arrow and make sure that it's not crooked. But after all of your pattern pieces are pinned onto your fabric, you can start cutting them out to the specific size that you cut your pattern to. And then when they're all cut out, you can start sewing.
You're going to notice on your pattern pieces that it tells you what pattern piece this is, if it's the front or the back, and also how many to cut out. So make sure you're paying attention to that and you're cutting the right amounts. But also I realized on these free downloadable patterns is that the front and the back are actually flipped. So the piece that it says is the front in this clip right now is actually the back of your shorts and the piece that says the back is actually the front. So just keep that in the back of your mind for when you actually put these shorts on. The larger piece with the deeper kind of cut in the crotch seam is going to be the back of your shorts. Otherwise, they're going to fit a little bit funky. All right, the first step before we start actually sewing these pants together or these shorts together is to attach our pockets. These shorts have pockets, which is super fun and pockets are very easy to attach. So we're gonna take our pocket pieces and we're going to sew them six inches down from the top of our shorts along the side of our shorts. And we do this before we create any other seams because our pockets have to be connected in order to make the magic work. So all you're going to do is measure six inches from the top of your shorts and then pin your pockets into place along the raw edge of your fabric. Once they're pinned, you're going to sew that and you're going to do this to the front short pieces and to the back short pieces. Pin them along the side, six inches down from the top. Now, as it goes for most standard patterns, we are going to sew these pajama shorts using a 5 8 inch seam allowance that is marked on the needle plate of your sewing machine. So make sure to pay attention to that. And we're going to pay attention to that 5 8 inch seam allowance when sewing our pockets on. All we're doing is sewing the pocket part and nothing else. After we have attached our pockets to the sides of our shorts, this is what they are going to look like. It kind of is like a curved flap and after these are connected as they are, we can actually start to sew our side seams and this is going to create the magic that is pockets. Before we start sewing the side seams of our shorts, we're going to just take our shorts over to our ironing board and give our pockets a nice little press. It's always great to press your seams as you're sewing so that everything is nice and crisp and clean and also so that all of your seams match up. Now that our pockets are attached, we can start to attach the fronts of our shorts to the backs of our shorts. So you're going to wanna make sure and pay attention that you take a shorts back, which is the larger piece, and you're going to attach it to a shorts front. And we are going to do this by matching up our pockets, placing our pattern pieces or our fabric right sides together, and we are going to pin along the side and also around our pocket. Now you might notice that there's a little bit of an excess of fabric at the bottom of our shorts. Don't worry about this. If this is how your shorts turn out, we're just going to trim that off later on. But now that our fabric is right sides together, our sides are matched up, our pockets are matched up, we're going to pin all the way around. And we're going to do that to both pieces. So we're going to grab a shorts front and a shorts back, and we are going to sew them around the sides. So you're gonna go down the side, you're going to pivot when you get to the pocket, and you're going to sew around the pocket. So to create the side seams for the shorts to create the magic of pockets, you can't actually sew all the way down the straight side of your shorts. You actually have to sew around your pocket and pivot. And this is going to create the pockets that I will show you in a minute. So here's what that side seam looks like at a different angle. Make sure that you are continuing to sew this on a 5 8 inch seam allowance. But as you can see, I sew down a straight line when I get to my pocket. I'm gonna make sure my needle is down on my fabric. I'm going to lift my presser foot and I'm going to pivot. I'm going to do the same thing when I get to this corner. I'm going to pivot and then along the curved edge of my pocket, I'm just going to curve my fabric with my needle and my presser foot and make sure that I'm still sewing at a 5 8 inch seam allowance and just pivoting and turning my fabric as I go.
So now that we have sewn down part of our sides of our shorts and around our pocket, we now have an actual pocket, which looks like this. If you open up your shorts, you actually have a pocket that you can stick your hand into. And once our pockets are sewn, we're just gonna give them a nice little press before we continue on with our sewing. Now at this point in the process, if you would like to finish your seams, if you have access to a serger, you can serge the edge of your fabric or you can use a zigzag stitch or any other seam finish. Finishing your seams is completely not necessary. You can keep them raw, but it always is great to finish the edge of your seams. I prefer to use a serger since that's what I have in my sewing room. So here is what finishing the edge of our seams look like, looks like on our serger. We're going to serge all the way around all the seams we just sewed. Now that we have our side seams for our shorts, it's time to create our inseam. This is the seam on the inside of your shorts. So we are going to grab the inseam or the edge of the front of our shorts and we're going to pin it to the edge of our back. As you can see on the left side, there's that excess fabric. Don't worry about that. We're going to trip it off later on, but you're just going to match up those edges that aren't yet connected. Make sure they're right sides together, pin them together. We're going to sew that on a 5 8 inch seam allowance and this is going to create two separate pants legs. So again, make sure that you're paying attention to sew this on a 5 8 inch seam allowance. If you sew the wrong seam allowance, chances are your shorts might not come out the size that you wanted them to be sewn at, so make sure you're paying attention to that. After we sew our inseam, this is what it's going to look like. Our seam is finished on both of our shorts legs. And if you want, you can also finish this edge as well. Now that we have those inseams created, we have two separate shorts legs. So now it's time to actually sew around that curve, which is called the crotch. So this is what fits around the curve of our body so that we actually have two shorts legs to put our legs through. So in attaching these and sewing them together, we are going to want to make sure that our fabric is turned right side out so that we can match it right sides together. And at this point, you're going to make sure that you are pinning a front to a front and a back to a back. The easiest way to do this is simply to match up that inside seam. Once that is matched up and pinned, all you have to do is continue to pin along the curve, making sure your fabric is right sides together. And at this point, we will be connecting our two fronts of our shorts together and our two backs. After you've pinned along that curve, you can actually stick one short leg into the other so that the wrong sides are on the outside and then you have access to sew the curve on your sewing machine. And now we're going to take our pajama shorts to our sewing machine and we are going to sew along the curve of what we call the crotch seam. And we are going to make sure once again that we are sewing this on 5 8 inch seam allowance. Once we have sewn our crotch, this is what that seam is going to look like. And now we can pull out our shorts leg so that we actually have a full pair of shorts. So at this point, you could actually try them on if you want to. So now we have our side seams, our crotch seams, and our inseam. So next up is to create the waistband and hem our shorts. And like I've mentioned before, you might notice that the back of your shorts has a little bit of an excess of fabric so that the back is actually a different length than the front. And at this point, this is where you can easily go in with a pair of scissors and just trim that off. Later on, I'll also show you how you can trim your shorts to make them a shorter length if you so desire. At this point, we are going to be creating our waistband or the channel that our elastic is going to go into to create our waist. You're going to need a seam gauge for this because we are going to start off with setting our seam gauge to half an inch and folding down the top raw edge of our waistband fabric or the waist of our shorts down half an inch and pressing it all the way around. Similarly to how you create a hem, that's the same kind of method we are going to use to create a channel at our waist for our elastic. So after we press the top down half an inch, we are gonna now set our seam gauge to one inch and go back around the top edge of our shorts, 
measure our one inch and we are going to press that down as well and then pin it and this is going to create the one inch channel for our one inch elastic. When I get to the back of my shorts, I like to insert two parallel pins about an inch and a half to two inches apart, and that section is not going to be sewn. We are going to leave that open, but sew everything else. So you're gonna take that over to your sewing machine. There's no specific seam allowance on this because you are going to want to make sure to sew right on the left edge of where you folded your fabric over. So as you can see, my needle is hitting right on the edge of where I have folded my fabric, and this is going to create the perfect one inch channel for our elastic. And as a reminder, make sure that you leave about a one and a half to two inch gap opening in that channel so that you can insert your elastic. But this is what our channel looks like. Now before we hem our shorts, this is where you can actually change the length of your shorts if you want them to be a different length. This pattern kind of creates them to be a Bermuda length, so if you want them to be shortened, this is where you simply are going to look at the inseam, figure out how long you want it to be, and then chop off what you don't want. Because I want my shorts to be a little bit shorter and not quite as long of a length, I'm just going to cut off an inch from the bottom of my shorts on both sides. So I can just mark that and then go in and cut it off. So there's one side and then we will do that to the other side as well. You can cut off more or less if you want to shorten them or you can leave it at the length that they are. So since the shorts are constructed at this point, you could actually try them on and then decide on the length you want them to be. So now that our shorts are trimmed at the bottom, we can hem it and we are going to hem it just like we did creating the waistband by folding it up half an inch and then folding it up one inch to create a thick hem time to hem our shorts. We are going to use the same method for the hem of our shorts as we did for the waistband of our shorts. We will use our seam gauge. We're going to press down the raw edge half an inch, press it all the way around the bottom of our shorts, and then we are going to go back in and press it up one inch to create a one inch hem. Now if you would like a smaller hem, you can adapt that as you go, but a one inch hem is kind of our standard. After you press your shorts half an inch, you are gonna start pressing it one inch. And as you press that one inch hem, you are also going to pin it as you go. Make sure it doesn't shift on you before you take it over to your sewing machine. Many sewing machines allow you to actually remove the front section of your sewing machine so that you can slip a hem or an arm or shorts or pants over that arm of your machine. So that's what I'm doing here so that I can have a better access to sew the hem of my shorts. So check your sewing machine to see if it does that. Chances are that it does. And then we are going to slip our shorts over that arm and then sew right along the far left edge of where we've pressed up the hem of our shorts. Now that we have hemmed our pajama shorts and we also have a channel for elastic, it is now time to insert our elastic so that it can fit us and fit our waist. So you're gonna grab your one inch elastic and you're going to cut your elastic to be the same width as your waist. So you can grab a measuring tape, measure your waist, and then cut your elastic to that. Or you can just take the elastic, wrap it around your waist, and cut it to the length that you so desire and that fits you. Then you're going to grab a giant safety pin, 
pin it into the edge of your elastic and then you're going to start feeding that elastic through the channel of your shorts. Hopefully you left an opening for your elastic. If not, grab a seam ripper and rip a little opening so that you can actually start feeding your elastic through your shorts. So basically you just push it through and you pull your excess fabric over that safety pin and over that elastic as you feed it through the channel and this is going to start to bunch up your waist so that it will actually fit you. As you feed your elastic through the channel of your shorts, you're going to want to pay attention to that tail that's sticking out. I like to pin mine into place so that I don't accidentally pull my elastic all the way through my channel and get it lost. So pin that tail into place and then continue to feed your elastic through the channel of your shorts. And then you're going to pull it out the end and sew those two tails together to create a full circle of elastic so that your shorts fit you. To sew your elastic together, you're going to overlap your edges an inch, pin it, and then you're going to put it into your sewing machine and you're going to sew a box. So you are basically going to sew down the edge, you're going to pivot, you're going to sew a one inch line, you're going to pivot, and then you're going to do that two more times to create a full box. And this is going to connect the edges of our elastic together, making sure that you are back stitching as you are sewing so that it does not come undone. The last step to finishing the waistband of our shorts is to sew that opening that we left closed. So you are just going to pull your waistband a little taut, put two to three pins to pin that hole closed, and then you're going to take it over to your sewing machine and sew it closed so that you have a full waistband. And again, sewing it along the edge of your fabric. Now that your elastic is inserted into your shorts, you now have your waistband. Your shorts are also hemmed, so you can basically just flip them right side out, and now you actually have a full pair of shorts. And here are what they look like. As you can see, I went with a longer length for mine, but I also have my pockets and I have my elastic waist. And here are what my finished shorts look like. As you can see, I decided to go with the longer length for my shorts, mainly because no shorts are ever long enough for me. But like I said, you have full creative license to create these shorts whatever length that you want. You can even fold down your waist or cuff the bottom of your shorts to change up the length as well. I really like the length of these shorts. Um, they're super fun, they're super comfortable. And if I haven't mentioned before, I ended up sewing my shorts on a size medium and I'm really glad I did that because I have plenty of room and I think a small would have actually not fit as well as a medium does. All right, so that is the pajama shorts. These are them. But I thought before I finished the video, I would kind of explain how you can make some adaptions to this pattern, depending on how high you want the waist to be and how long you want the shorts to be. As you can see, the finished shorts are more of a Bermuda length. And the reason for this is that we adapted the shorts pattern from a pajama pants pattern, which really, in order to do that, you just have to cut off the bottom of the pants that you don't want to create your desired short length. So I'm going to leave a ton of directions and descriptions in the description box below so that it can help you kind of figure out how you can make these adaptions if you don't want your shorts to be this exact length, or if you want your waist to be more at a low rise waist rather than a high rise waist but basically it comes down to just chopping off and cutting off the bottom of the shorts that you don't want however because we make the hem of these shorts an inch and a half folding it up with our seam gauge you definitely want to make sure that let's say you want the inseam and the length of your shorts to be three inches um, that you make sure and add an inch and a half so that you have plenty of fabric in order to fold it up and hem it. And as you're making your shorts, once they're all constructed, constructed before they're actually hemmed, you can actually go and try your shorts on and mark exactly the length that you want them to fall at. The other important thing to take into account is the pockets. If you shorten your shorts, you're also probably going to have to shift your pockets a couple inches up, or um, I'm going to pop in a clip at the end of this description showing you how you can actually change the shape of your pocket in order to have a shorter shorts um, style. And you don't even have to put the pockets in, you could just keep them out of the design as a whole, but who doesn't love pockets? Um, so the pocket is pretty big, so you might want to shift it up a couple of inches. So instead of making it six inches down from the waist, maybe make it four or five inches that way you have plenty of room to make your shorts shorter i personally like where the waist falls on this because it actually falls at more of your natural high waist which is a lot more comfortable and then for creating your elastic you just have to take your waist measurement cut the elastic to fit that 
and then make your adaptions for the length. And also for the shorts, you could keep them the exact same length that they are and just fold them and cuff them up. Um, that way you can kind of make them whatever length you actually want them to be whenever you're wearing them and that's a super easy adaption too. So. I hope that this video helped you figure out how to make a super easy pair of shorts um, that you can wear as pajamas or depending on the fabric that you use, you could turn them into fun loungewear shorts, but this is a great introductory project in order to get a better feel and kind of practice for sewing and creating apparel. Pajama pants and pajama shorts are very easy to make. So hopefully this video helped you figure that out and hopefully you were able to make a pair of your own. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. To change up the size of your pocket, you are going to draw a line that's two inches up from the bottom, and then you are just going to kind of curve out the bottom of that pocket a little bit more. And that new shape that you just drew, you're actually going to cut that off. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to make the opening of your pocket a little bit smaller. And this is great one because the opening of your pocket does need to be all that big. And if you want to make your shorts a little bit shorter, this is going to be the perfect size pocket.